Good afternoon, dear children. Once again, I'm here with the same chapter that is direct, indirect speech. The next uh, topic, topic in the sense, in that only, the next point is that we are going to be learn about uh, imperative sentences. Imperative sentences, you know, dear children. Imperative sentences, Miss Moore. Imperative sentence give order, command, request, suggestion, advice. That is called a imperative sentence. If I am saying, uh, stand up from your place, go there, go and get me a glass of water. See, like this way, please. Can you give me water, Miss? In this way, when you say that, that is request. You know, please give me uh, one glass of water. Can you? Can I borrow your pen, please? In this way, when you say. That is called an imperative sentence. As we have learned, dear children, that in the previous lecture, that when we are doing the reported, we are learning reported speech. In that direct speech, as we are changing into indirect speech. Okay. So rules for changing the imperative sentences. into indirect speech that only we have learned in our earlier lectures okay so what is that the chain of reporting verb what okay let me revise one what we have done in the last previous lecture while doing uh, indirect speech we have seen that uh, we removed inverted commas we replace inverted comma and we have put if whether that told asked says that is the re reported verb we check the person person first person second person third person and according to that the person we have changed first person subject according to the subject we are changing the first person according to the uh, person the second second person object and when it in that reported speech when the third uh, person is there there will be no change it will remain same what again we have seen that uh, tenses tenses whether that simple present tense is there it will become uh, simple past like this way we have changes the tenses also the same rules are also here in imperative sentences so what is that the change of reporting verb if in that sentence direct speech said or said to is there that there you have to write as it is imperative sentence ordered advice requested suggested in this way you have to change that word that reporting verb that say or said to you have to change in this uh, in the form of this words okay now and it, uh, replace the inverted commas you have to write over the uh, with the conjunction t o 2 when we are removing that uh, inverted commas that we are removing and we are writing conjunction we uh, to t o 2 then the, of course the as i just now said person person first person subject second person object third person no change so here i have first person subject second person object third person no change and change of time in the reported speech if there is a time denoting words like uh, uh, here here there if it's a uh, come here now right now now means come here that time denoting words according to that time denoting words you have to change so all these you know when you will get in pdf file or you will get hard copy of that uh, all the rules and regulations and what uh, what will be the changes and everything so try to understand so i think so you have understood this now we we'll go to the structure in imperative sentence structure is there no need to learn only for to making you understand i have written on the blackboard that is uh, when we are doing this direct speech uh, indirect uh, direct speech into the indirect speech when changing into indirect speech the structure will be like this the subject will be there reporting rv reporting verb will be there object is there after that two object plus two okay and the v1 form two plus v1 form form two plus v1 form what is that that is the infinitive form to go to sing to come 
to eat you know that is called the infinity form that is 2 plus v1 and rest all the remaining words where whatever is there in the reporting speech that you have to write once again here no need to learn also here only you keep in mind when you are writing, writing in indirect speech that will be the structure will be like this now we will start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 examples will take and then we will go to the next topic that is uh, exclamatory sentences. Okay, now what is the first point what we always, what, what we have done in the previous lesson? Yes, we have finding out, find out, subject, reporting verb, object. Yes, which is subject over here? This is subject, right? This is subject. What is this? This is said to is a reporting verb. His mother is object. Right? Please give me, give me hundred rupees. Me is what is this? Me is a first person. Me is a first person. So we found out what we found out that that the first step is that. Uh, he, we found that uh, all the subject, object and uh, uh, what is that? Reporting verb and the person. So what will be the answer that? Okay, what will be the answer that? The boy, what will be this here? The boy said to, said to will come. See, according to the sentence, this uh, words will come. Order, advice. See, who is here? The boy is here. Boy cannot order his mother. Order, uh, boy cannot uh, give suggestion to his mother. Ma boy cannot give advice to his mother. So, what left? Requested. So, you must write here. The, okay, I am writing here. The boy requested. His mother, okay, so we are removing, removing inverted commas, Re removing inverted commas, what, which conjunction you are using here, PO2, so the boy requested to his mother, boy requested his mother, his mother, mother, please, in the uh, imperative sentence, if it is coming, uh, uh, please, all can be, K-I-N-D-L-Y. If these words are coming, please eliminate that word. No need to write in the indirect speech. Okay, these two words, no need to write because that we have to eliminate, that we have to cut. So, what we, so please is there, no need to write. Then what is there? Two. We are using, where is that? Uh, conjunction 2, we are removing this after this mother, uh, inverted commas are there, we are removing that, we are writing here, 2, 2, give, 2, give, first person, subject, first person, subject, that I has told you, first person, subject, what will become there, the first person is me, the boy is there, so, see, the boy requested his mother to give him, me is the boy is there. So, him 100 rupees. Okay. Once again, I will tell that. The boy said to request it will come. Okay. Then to his mother, as usual, remove the inverted comma. We have used here to and then uh, please also, as I said, please and kindly cut that. So we cut that to give that as I said. See, is this there? Subject is there, right? Here is a subject, pay attention, the structure. Yes, subject is there. Reporting verb is there. Object is there. Two plus infinity form. Two plus infinity form. V1 form is give. And the remaining words, remaining words, him, me, we have changed. And the remaining words is 100 rupees.
this. It's so easy, uh, dear children. But you need practice for this. Okay, we go to the second. Again, subject. Okay, subject. Reporting verb. This is subject. Reporting verb. Object. Stand up right now. Stand up. Stand up. If I am saying stand up, to whom I am saying? That you is hidden. You stand up. You is hidden. That is, you is um, hidden word. Okay. You is hidden word. Okay. Then what will be there then? What will be the answer then? Then answer will be that the teacher the teacher what? Order. Teacher can give order. Teacher can give command. So teacher ordered Nikita. O R D E R E D. Ordered Nikita. Order Nikita. Remove inverted commas. What we have to write? To. Then what is that? What is the time denoting word? Time denoting word is here, dear children. Now, abhi ki abhi kade ho jau. Now, that now will become then. So, teacher order Nikita to stand up, run, right, then. Stand up, right, then. This is the change. Okay? We go to third one. Doctor said to the patient, Dear children, very easy. Now I will not underline anything. Now you try to understand. Yes, yeah, should I? Okay. I will. The last sentence you have to do your alone. Doctor said to the patient, Object, subject, reporting verb, object, change your, your. Second, your means second person, food habits. So, start writing. See, here it is, all the things are in front of you, it's very easy. But as you will practice, dear children, you will come to know. So, what will be the answer here? Doctor, say it to, what will come here? Order, advice, requested or suggested. Doctor, suggesting. So, write Doctor suggested the patient, patient TO2 will come because we are removing inverted commas. Patient to change your second person, second person object, second person object, the patient his. Understand? The doctor said what doctor suggested. Doctor suggested. Doctor suggested patient to change his food habits. Doctor suggested. Doctor suggested to change his food habits. See here. Then we will go to, next is that, that we will go to fourth one. We will go to fourth. Okay. What is that fourth one? What is that fourth one? Now, she said to her husband, please don't tell lie. See, again. Her husband. Please don't lie. So what will become there? Then, okay, we start now. She. Okay, now instead of say to reporting work, what will be? Can, uh, can wife order husband? No. Can a wife, okay, sometimes she can advise and suggest also request it. But here she is telling lie. Okay, so we can write over here. Suggest also you can say, you can say, but here the polite word is requested. Okay, so she requested her husband. Requested her husband. What? Now, don't. As I said, here, here, see here, this sentence. Where it is like this structure is there. 
there, but in the sentence negative is there, not is there, so you have to add not to. So here, here you have to add first object plus not. Okay now, so what did there? Her, uh, she requested husband not to lie. Not, please and kindly, as I said, please and kindly, we are cutting, we are eliminating. So, husband, not to lie. Not to, not to tell is there, okay? Not to tell is there. Not to lie is also correct, but as they have given this word tell, so much right. Not to tell, because infinitive form is there, be one. So 2 plus V1, not 2, here not is there. So here the negative is there, that's why not to tell lie. We'll go to the last. Last example of this imperative sentence. Now what is that? He said, let us keep quiet in this matter. What is the meaning of this sentence? He said, let us keep quiet in this matter. Usne kaha, ye matter mein humko gapchup rehna chahiye. Hum log gapchup bhejhenge. This is the word. So what will be the when? See here I have written. In the sentence beginning, in the reported speech. This whenever word we are writing in the inverted commas. That is reporting speech. And when the reporting speech starts here, begins with let. Let is there. The reporting verb. The reporting verb instead of say what we have written over here everywhere. This one, two, three, four. Either we have written this, but when the sentence begins with let, you have to start the reporting verb change into proposed or suggest. Okay, according to the sentence, write this word. So what will be there? He suggested. What is there? He suggested that, that will come because let is there. He suggested that we should keep quiet. He suggested that that will be there because the sentence starts with the suggested that we should we let us keep quiet. All of us, we Sabchan gapchup baitna chaliye is matter me according to the center. So he suggested that we should quiet in this we should keep quiet in this matter. We should keep quiet in this matter. See that this is complete about the imperative sentence. Now we'll turn the last point of this lesson uh, is that uh, exclamatory sentence. So exclamatory. The last point of this lesson that is exclamatory sentences. So rules for changing exclamatory sentences into indirect speech. So reporting reporting verb, what is reported verb? You have to change because exclamatory marks, you know what is exclamation marks? Exclamation marks shows the sorrow, sudden feeling, a sudden uh, joy, you know, your wonder or surprise. This is, oh, what is this? That is sudden feeling. Oh, hurrah, we want the match. In this sudden feelings, when we say that is called, uh, it is called exclamatory marks. So, reported verb, the reported verb will change according to this form. According to the sentence, if that sentence is with joy, right? Exclaim with joy. Exclaim with sorrow, exclaim with wonder. If that sentence is wonder or surprise, right? Exclaim with wonder or surprise. If in that, if pray in that sentence, pray is there to write their pray. If their wishing is there, may God bless you and all, you know, that in this way, so that instead of that, you must write that. Okay, now we'll go to the sentences. Sentences, as usual, you have to find out subject, reporting verb, object, first person, second person, third person, the same way. So, 
here now in this last point i will not underline anything directly we write the answer so what will be the answer only you have to uh, see that you have to see that reported verb is this not there if or whether not there told not there that not uh, what we have written in the last uh, uh, in the imperative that suggested and all but here it is not like that you have to change the rest all same thing so what will be the answer then here the answer will be that adi said okay now you are fantastic whether it is joy sorrow or wonder so joy so what we will write here exclaim with joy are we exclaim with joy are we exclaim e x c l a r a n d exclaim with joy what is that we have won the match actually i will say we means singular person here adi is there alone but we cannot we cannot say adi say he he has won the match no so there what we must write there they what that the, we must write that uh, exclaim that with joy with joy that will be there that we are removing this so that they have wo they have have is there so what will become this is simple uh, uh, present perfect tense so have instead of have what will come had will come so they had won the match they had won the match understand what is answer that adi explained with joy that they had won the match go to second he said oh i lost my shirt what is that whether this is joy sorrow surprise what is that that is sorrow usko dukh ho gaya kya dukh ho gaya he lost his shirt so what will be here he exclaim with sorrow okay he exclaimed with sorrow that i first person what is that first person he so that he had he lost ma lost me for simple past tense simple past tense what is a simple past tense past perfect tense uh simple past past perfect so had lost his shirt my first person so he exclaimed with sorrow that that must be there exclaimed with sorrow because we are removing this so we must like that i first person subject that he had lost his shirt he has lost his shirt okay he exclaimed with sorrow that he that he had lost his shirt okay go to the next namita said sorry for being late what is the meaning of this sentence what is the meaning of this sentence the meaning of this sentence is namita namita ne kaha sorry main late aa gayi being sorry for being late namita ne kaha sorry main late ho gayi so what will be the answer namita exclaim with regret okay exclaim with joy and one more is there when you want to regret pashchataap jab ho jata hai so exclaim with you must write regret r e g r a t e regret okay so write over there regret g r e t g r eat okay so she said that namita uh explain with regret namita exclaim with regret what is that what what she was that regret that 
फॉर बीन ले मैं लेट आ गई इसकी वजह से वो सॉरी थी रिग्रेट थी सो वट वी विल राइट नमिता एक्सप्लेन विथ रिग्रेट दैट शी वॉज लेट See the meaning of the sentence. According to that, this is sorry for being late. Sorry, me late aayi. Sorry, me late aagayi thi. That is was late. Okay. Now Mohit say, I can't believe this. So what is that? This is wonder. This is a surprise. I can't believe this. So what will be the answer? He, Mohit, exclaim with wonder. We wonder, or you can write surprise as well, or you can write surprise that I am subject first person. First person is Mohit, so he can. This will change. What will become? Can will become could. So we wonder that he he is because of Mohit. He. Could I believe this? He could I believe not this? Is this this is correct? Time denoting. Time denoting is this. So this will become that. So this will become that. Means answer is. That I who Mohi exclaimed with wonder that he couldn't believe that. When your exclamation mark is there in the direct speech, but can you see notice that in this there is no exclamation mark? Simple statement is there like a interrogative sentence. So I think so. All the points I have recovered. Now only the five examples. Exercise will take mixed exercise will take. Then here we will complete our chapter. So we go to exercise. For you, dear children, I have given just this interrogative reported verb will change in this form. Okay. Now interrogative imperative sentences. Here the what is this uh, exclamation? Okay, and here the simple sentence, whatever, whichever we have taken, rather than this reported verb will change according to this. So now we will see exercise. Okay, now just see dear children. Now I will see here. He said. Now I will have to understand in a factory. Okay. Now again here he said I. Okay. Then we have to see here in a verb. In this tense we have to see. This tense we have to see. Now here what is the subject teacher? Reported verb. Said to be there. The student is object. Subject. Reported verb. This is. First person. This tense. Okay, which tense is this? Work in a factory. Simple present, right? So that is a simple present. It's okay. Simple present. We we'll have, we we'll have finished. That is future. Okay, can you understand that future perfect tense? Okay, that is a future, future tense. Okay, and uh, the sun rises in the east. Okay, and then he said. Okay, he subject said to is a reporting verb. Me is object. You is second person. Have been great work. Have been, you know, have present present perfect tense. So according to this, now we have to change our in indirect speech. Okay, what will be the answer? He said simple. He said when said is that he told. That he said, said, said. He said that. He said that. He said that. Remove that. Okay. He said. We have removed inverted comma. That is there. I. I will change. First person he. So he said that. His verb. His verb. Simple present tense will change in the 
uh, he said that he worked in a factory. He worked. The simple present is worked. W O R K E D. Worked in a factory. Work will become simple present tense. Will become simple past tense. So work. I have written there. Work in a factory. I have changed here. He said I. I means who? He means this boy. So we have written there. Work. Okay. Now he said I will have finished the work. He said I will have finished the work. He said that. Will what will come? This is the first person. This is a first person. So what will come? He is there. Okay. He said that. He said that. I first person, first person, subject. First person, subject. First person, subject means he said that he will will become. Where is that? Will and shall become. Would and should. So will here is a will. So what will become here? W O U L D. Would have. Would. What will be there? Would have been. Okay now. He said that uh, he would have finished. He would have finished. Finished. He would have finished the work. Finished the work. Sentence is that. Sentence is that. He said, "I will have finished the work." He said that. Correct. He, that is finished is correct. Okay. He said that. We have written said said. We have removed that. We have written first person is I. I is written about the he. So he would will become change would. So would have finished the work. Go to the second. The teacher said to the student. The teacher. What will come? Said to the said to will told the teacher told told the students students the sun rises in the east. What is this? The sun was rises. We change the tense. Tense is here. The but cannot change. Why cannot change this reported speech? Because this is universal truth. So the answer will become the same that the teacher told the student. The sun rises in the east. Students, uh, the sun rises in the east. And the fourth one is what is that? The fourth one. He said to me, "You have been a great help. You have been a great help to him." So what will be that? Said to will become. Said to will become told. So he told me that. He told me that you is a second person. Where is that you told me that? What will come there? He told me that. What will come second? You. You have been a great help. You have been a great help. What will be the girl? I have been. He. Ah. Uh, he told me that I have been. You is a second person. You is a second person. Okay. First. Subject, second person, object. So object is me. Me means it will become change I. He told me that I. This will become past tense. That is had been a great help to him. I think so. You understood. Only two. We are concluding all the.
complete lesson that is reported speech in direct and indirect direct speech how to change into indirect speech so here with practice dear children we i will give you practice exercise and you solve that try to solve that and if you can't again and again see the rules see the video and try to understand the lesson as i very earlier in the beginning of this chapter i said that this lesson is very very important for the coming uh, years in your schooling and in the college life also so do well thank you and have a nice day